Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. This is going to be the first in a continuing series related to a game that I first played just over three years ago, Redemption's Guild. And at the time, it was kind of a conceptual pre-alpha, and we're finally at a stage where this is an alpha ambassador demo, uh, where I will have the ability to pick between three different classes of character and play through what will eventually be a multiplayer online RPG. Now, this is not a massively multiplayer online RPG. It's a small four-person RPG where you can cooperatively play with your friends or maybe your enemies. I don't know. Uh, just others. And when I first got to play this game a few years back, that interaction with others, which is something I'm not usually into, was so much fun that I immediately contacted the developer and was like, hey, can I get you a pizza or something? So I gave them a small donation, and here we are three years later. The game is getting closer, but not yet ready for full release. Uh, but it, it, it stuck with me for these past three years, and now this is the first time I'm going to jump back into it. Again, this is the Ambassador demo. Uh, what that means is I am an ambassador for this game. So you're going to see content from Redemption's Guild on my channel rotating through at least once a week. Uh, some of it will be short bursts. Some of it will be extensive videos kind of walking through. But I'm going to make sure it doesn't dominate the channel. You're still going to have access to the classic uh, retro VR stuff I've been showing. You're still going to have access to highlighted new content as well. Redemption skill is just going to be off to the side a little bit so you can see the progress on the game um, and also hopefully help to grow this community because I really want to play with others when this game releases. For right now, though, enough talking. I've got three different classes that I can choose from. If we grab this one, this is the Rogue class. This one's the Knight. And this one right here, well, that's an Elementalist. And each of them plays the game slightly differently. We're going to start with the knight, kind of a classic. And then you've got either sliding locomotion or teleportation. We're going to go with sliding locomotion. I'm not sure exactly what sliding means, but we'll find out. I'm assuming that's just going to be sliding on the touchpad. Now, eventually, this is going to be an online multiplayer game, as I mentioned. For right now, though, it's an online single player experience for myself. Now, as, as I previously mentioned, this is an online multiplayer game, or at least it will be in the future. Uh, for right now, it is a single player demo experience. Uh, that is going to change um, probably rather quickly. And there's also, instead of just three classes to choose from, there's going to be six when the game releases. Uh, I like the fact that there's giving me a little bit of a demo tutorial. Put your hand by the holster slot. And once the item goes transparent, click grip. Apparently, that's all I got to do. I've got a nice sword here. Uh, works pretty easily. Above shoulder. There's my shield. Also works pretty pretty darn well. Um, now, the Elementalist is kind of a spellcaster. They have a tome and a wand. Uh, they have potions. I also have potions right here. Seems pretty simple. Um, that's how you holster and that's how you do things. Let's check out movement and settings, though. Movement and settings, it says the notebook allows you to change settings, view inventory, and see what equipment you've unlocked for each class and more. Many of those settings are not yet hooked up for this demo. One other disclaimer, I know it says on the screen in front of you this is pre-alpha content. May not be reflective of the final game, just wanted to give that disclaimer as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm digging sliding. Uh, if you click in the left thumbstick, though, um, in teleportation mode, you can aim where you want to go. It's good to have both options for those that get motion sick easily. Um, and again, 
That seems to work fine. Let's close both of those. Now, what I don't notice is the ability to turn. So I am going to turn physically. And you can see, like, there's, there's other characters here. Let's see, I can pick up that glass. Is this a candle or a carrot? No, nah, it seems to be a nothing right now. Huh. Let's go over here. I would love to play some chess. Do you play against me, sir? Kind, sir? Well, not yet. But again, those types of parlor games and things of that nature will be coming in the future. In fact, this setting here, this tavern, is going to be a bit of a hub, from what I understand. Ah, oh, here we go, some dice. That's a nine. There's a four. Actually, is that a nine or an eleven? I can't tell. That's an eleven. So we're going to call it that. So I can play dice games as well. Play some actual RPGs, right? RPGs. Well, hello. Hello. You're here to trade, aren't you? I I don't have any coin yet to trade, but this is some nice armor. Look at that Valero caress, the Valero armet. I think that's a helmet. Yeah, that's a helmet. Uh, the Valero Crest Shield. I used to allow my customers to barter, but then I felt bad about all the food I was taking from the mouths of children. Fair point. Everybody's trying to sell you something. At least I list prices. All of these are fair points, Shea. I used to allow my customers And then you've got barter, Valero Longsword as well. From the of children. Hello there, kind sir. Um, can I borrow... Can I... I guess I can't borrow your shield. I would have liked to have borrowed your shield. What is the staring contest we've got going on here? And it looks like if we go back here, there's more to do. So no longer do we have a... bustling bar but we do have the basement and a nice lantern again can't grab these which is unfortunate I'd love to be able to grab more objects uh, I'm sure in the future there might be more interactivity but for right now looks like maybe we can train over here I've drawn my blade Love the graphics. So let's see over here. There is an actual combat tutorial. Let's do the general combat tutorial first. So it says use the right analog touchpad to bring up the ability menu, which is, yeah, that works. Then either push it in to cast or pull the trigger. So. An intimidating challenge is shouted towards your opponents, drawing their attention. Braces temporarily activates a defensive combat stat stance uh, that mitigates incoming damage by 30% for 10 seconds. We've got uh, Shield Bash, which gives you the ability to stun your opponent for two seconds. And then True Strike, which gives your sword the ability to overwhelm the opponent's defense. So each of those are available. That's cool. There's also a fatigue system. So when you're using a melee weapon, you'll notice that as you hit your target, the light of the weapon fades, and I did notice over time that I was doing less damage. That's a pretty smart system. I really like that. So if you're just swinging away and wailing at your sword, it's not going to be as effective as it goes. Your fatigue will not recharge if it is in the enemy, so you will not do very much, if any, damage to enemies when flicking the wrist to attack. We recommend full swings. And then... We're going to do each of these combat tutorials with the characters. That's going to be three separate videos, though. Today, we're just going to focus on the knight. 
class ability is to interrupt. So over time, your shield will start to glow with a glyph. Now, we'll pull out the shield so you can see it. There's the glyph that starts to glow. Um, once the ability is ready, it will begin to rotate on the shield. If you pull the trigger on your left hand, it'll activate that interrupt. To interrupt the target once you've activated your ability, simply smash them with your shield. So it's kind of cool that the tutorial's on the wall here. It's, it's, it's a pretty interesting topic there. Now, if I wanted to, I can switch classes right here. Again, you've got the Elementalist and the Rogue right there in the room with me. Um, for right now, though, grab my uh, trusty sword, grab my trusty shield. And as you can see, as long as I'm doing steady swings and not really trying to hurt myself here. Boom, shield bash. So works pretty well. Um, now let's let's see brace for defensive stance. There we go. Then we've got Insight. And then an actual Shield Bash. I, I guess I should do this. So all of that works pretty well. Um, we've now done a bit of a combat tutorial here. Now we're going to go back up. Head out of the tavern. Well, it looks like there's an upstairs and another room here. So let's do a little bit more exploring. Ah, map. The Arita Arena, and now I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I'm going to say Arita Arena is the other location that we can go to. The arena sits in a basin within Arita, offering little reprieve from the sun. Despite that, there have been gatherings of beings in the area, so be careful. And the highest round that's been reached so far in the arena is zero because I have not played this game yet. So let's hit this button here. Traveling instructions. Click on an icon. Walk through the portal. Team members must wait for the host to join the scene. Now, eventually, there will be the arena, the labyrinth, and the adventure, and different quests that you can take, and things of that nature. Again, you can play either individually or with friends. But for right now, only the arena is available. As you can see, I can't click on any of these buttons. That's just the instructions. Um, right now, we've just got this arena. There's no other potential locations. Let's continue exploring, though. Let's see, what, what is the... Uh, it's just a shiny trinket. Can pick up these books. Can't really open them or read them just yet. Maybe someday. I do have to say, I really like the overall look of the game. Um, low poly, not only has a cool aesthetic when you're playing a game in, in virtual reality. Can't pick up the candle either. I, I, I kind of want to have some more interactive objects in the future, and I'll, I will be continuing to try to grab things like this door here. Can I shut it? Of course not. Not yet, at least. Um, but I do like the low poly aesthetic for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, low poly lets the game world render much more efficiently. So when you have a bunch of multiplayers, now, granted, this does limit right now to four players. Um, well, it will once once we get to that point. Um, but even after this becomes a four-player game, at the point that it hits four players, you're going to have the ability to connect online and play against those players. It's not all four players in a room. 
that could introduce lag, especially if you have super high polished graphics. So having low poly like this works fantastic for that reason, as well as, like I said, looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. The Astral Shard instructions. Open up your notebook, which I haven't actually done that yet. I believe it's the B button. There it is. There's my notebook. As you can see, there's my name, Eric. Pretty original name, right? Um, I've got all six classes listed here. So I've got Berserker, which I can't be at, Ranger, which I can't be at, and Cleric, which I can't be at, as well as Elementalist, Knight, and Rogue. Right now, of course, I am a Knight. Um, we're right now in the Tilnu Tavern. Of course, that's going to change as time goes on. Settings, we've got uh, the ability to turn on our microphone, mute other players, enable a compass, have a compass height on the screen, uh, visual quality, high, low, low, or medium, a headset comfort off, headset comfort if it was on, I believe would, would kind of give you that. Um, as I'm moving, it, it would give you a, a bit of a tunneling effect. Super sampling uh, and LOD setting. Now I'm not sure what LOD setting is, but right now it's at 10. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, right now we're in sliding locomotion. I'm not going to switch to teleport. Blood effects I can turn on and off. Left-handed mode I can turn on and off. Cell confirmation and role play. Um, then if we move into the next setting screen, mastery doesn't exist it looks like inventory does um, and right now we don't really have any inventory and of course my player stats again there is a social hub and a log for the log you can see things like questing no quests of course as of yet gear progression for each class right now we've got an aurorian helmet that sounds pretty awesome actually notifications and a tutorial button a and button b tutorials let's let's click on that it says for button a do the thing obviously these are going to be changed after this alpha is over and tutorial b is a pro tip don't die. Those are both very helpful tips, if I do say so myself. Uh, so again, we'll be able to learn more about the shard system later. Before we step forward into the arena, again, we do have the ability to choose between either of these other shiny baubles if we don't want to be a knight for this particular video and this first look at the game. We're going to stay as a knight. We're going to click this button and ready our sword. We're going to step through this portal. And into the Arida Arena. So there's going to be a wave of enemies. We have one life to live, I guess. Is, the, is that the correct term? One life... That's a soap opera. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit start. And I'm going to try really hard not to destroy my living room. Ah, hello there, my friend. Oh, you're both here. Three of you. Uh-oh. We got we got one down.
tripped. This might be my chance. I like that these guys are kind of, uh... They're all marching together, which helps. As you can see, the crystals give you a bit of health. This guy's got a red crystal. He's finally dead. The first of these skeletal forces. All right. Ah, oh, yeah. How refreshing can that be, right? I do like the music a lot. The combat's a little bit clunky right now. Mostly because I'm not sure what to do. Not so much the enemies. Alright, we've got one more gem to smash. Almost there. All right. Can I open these chests? I can. Sweet. So we can't leave the arena. Yeah, nice refreshing potion.
You like it up here? This poor guy. They hit a tree. Now their stomp is uh, a bit intense. So we're out of potion. Yeah, go that way. Go that way, my friend. really understood what to do with the shield yet so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my back So bad that I couldn't even hit him. My stamina is that low. Let's see if we can get this guy. Yes. Now, are there more enemies? Let's see. Remaining lives. Remaining wave enemy zero. The wave cooldown has ended. Now, this is going to be it, probably. The last hurrah. That guy over there is pretty darn smart, if I do say my, so myself. And I've died. Now, in death, well, a lot of things can happen. For right now, though, we're going to leave the arena. I'm going to return to the tavern. And I'm going to say good night, or good day, or good afternoon, or good morning. Hope you've enjoyed this video, this first look of many of Redemption's Guild. Get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. 
check out Redemption's Guild, I will put the link to the storefront with a 10% off coupon in the description of this video. Help support the indie developers that are making this game happen. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye now.